The Lord says, On the morrow at noon, at noontime, the Baltic dry index will be zero, says the Lord. There is no escape. It will be against the buyer and seller and also with the lender and borrower. Calamity, calamity, calamity. Collapse, 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 says the Lord. The first signal to be hoisted on the battlefield is the closure of a group of banks. The collapse of the trading system from the lender to the borrower and the buyer and seller. There will be panic, disarray, and unbelief. Let the enchanter hear no more. Let the buyer buy no more. Let the lender lend no more. Let all the merchandisers lament and mourn, for they shall no longer rely upon their commerce. Hear this, O seller. Hear now, O buyer. Hear the words, all you who enchant. Hear the word of the Lord. Famine, collapse, and war is your portion. For the usury you have extracted shall be no more. Here comes an anomaly, the crash of the economic system. There is sorrow on the sea, and it cannot be quieted. Trump is the man the Father selects at hand. Charismatic in approach, lying is his approach. A mantle, a facade, a handkerchief to shod. Here it comes, judgment, a shod. And the words of knowledge with that are turn of events, deadly wound healed, Trump rises to power, alignment with wickedness, Arabian oil, tainted words, greenback loses elasticity of demand, no longer favored, implodes as the walls of Jericho came down, so shall the greenback. Civil War. Trump rises to power, and from January the 11th of 2021, Trump will step down in a few days. This man will gain momentum and turn around. Chasing my sin and looking to conceal, who knows and who can reveal? I see it now, I stand and smile. I have the vocabulary which is in style. People greet me in my suit. Little do they know I do not deal. I stand aside as they come. One by one I steal with pride. Now I return with coat and tie. Who will know it is I? Deadly wound healed. Liked by all. Believed by all. Trusted by all. Condemns them all. A time of the end. Go into hiding, my people. Election pertaining to the king brought out into the open. How hard it will be for those who trust in a man. The year of the last trump. Alignment with wickedness. Behold the eyes of man and hear the heart of men. The voice of a trumpet, the voice of a man, both alike. Beware of the sounds. Changing the times. Deception abounds. Here comes the man. Refining starts and there will be an onslaught of wickedness. It will be in the house of the king. I repeat, wickedness in the house of the king. Alignment will lead people into shock. The alignment he makes with this man will leave many in shock. The alignment spoken about will be a man who possesses both political and theocratic attributes. A Latin-speaking man. It's what the political man says that shocks the people. Some kind of promise 
of peace and stability. As the walls of Jericho imploded and came down, so shall the greenback. Currency collapse. Civil war. Followed by civil war. My father's voice, my father's words, excellent in majesty, enthroned above the heavens. He sets the times and boundaries of men that they should go no farther. He conceals great wisdom, unsearchable by man. His counsels are displayed throughout the land. Great men desire to find it, but only a child may partake at his hand. My father sends his son to change the land. Voices of opposition that appear genuine. Now I perform my word. I raise up voices of opposition, says the Lord. The Lord says there are false voices that appear genuine. A changing of the guard, says the Lord. There is a changing of the guard. A changing of the guard means a change in dispensation. A change in dispensation means a change in how God deals with his people. Time no more in the days of his message. Wisdom speaks as follows. It's time for Daniel's fast. Angels shall manifest, says the Lord. The veil shall be torn. The trumpet shall sound. All who are left shall stand around. Rocks fall on us. Let the righteous man step forward that I may instruct him to lead his house, says the Lord. Let the sinner come forward on bended knee. Let the angry man be angry no more. Let vengeance be from the Lord, and he will repay. The Lord provides a lamentation. O oh, my people, O oh, my creation, how I placed you with the crown of grace. O oh, my son, how I let you reign over the work of my hand, over the sons of men and the beasts of the field. I provided the display of sun and the gentle light of the moon. I gave you all of this, and if it was too little and not enough, I gave my son. Now judge between me and my people. Is there anything else I might have done? Judgment now falls, says the Lord. I take my glory from among the nations, says the Lord. I close with these words of wisdom. Come to the throne of mercy. Spend time with the Father. Touching sin weakens you in the way, causes defeat. Touching grace strengthens the soul, gives you the victory.